place I long to be. Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score. We're the sportsmen of Newfoundland and Labrador. Folks, we're on our way to Twinning Gate to do a couple days of tur hunting with North Atlantic Outfitters. Well, I've got my trusty old brother-in-law here who's got a pretty good eye for shooting terrors. He's, even though he's up in years, he's pretty stable and he can fire the gun and knock down those birds pretty good. Well, according to what I've been told, they're out there in the hundreds in a shot, one shot. Good. The 100 birds can be 150 birds. Now, yeah, but I'll cure that. Once I get there, you'll be all gone. <laughs> We've got five hour drive from here. We should be out there early in the afternoon, get primed up, have a few swallies, and be ready for the next morning. Well, I've got two cases, two cases of shells for you and I. That's, that's 500 shells. <laughs> and birds. Our, our buddies at OP Fishing and Hunting gave me there yesterday. Bob Witten figured, <laughs> our cameraman, he, he figured that'd be good for Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I, you know something? He might be right. <laughs> yes, sir. We're leaving on a Saturday. As you can see, it's raining, it's miserable out. But that is not the big consideration when you're going tur hunt. The big consideration is wind. Today down there, they were calling for, I think it was 45 kilometer an hour winds, which is not good for out in the boat. Now, a lot of people like going out when it's stormy because the birds down there are flooded in. But, I mean, we've got to film that, so how are you going to hold the camera and film uh, us shooting terrors in those kind of conditions. Tomorrow's calling for a nice day. With that being said, you should see a lot of birds fall down. the same people that own the down home uh, shopping gallery on Water Street the down home magazine Grant Young and they make some fine wines very beautiful scenic location here in Twillingate absolutely gorgeous rugged typical Newfoundland outport in terms of what history was years ago and, you know most of our Ancestors, of course, were involved in, in, uh, in the fishery. And when you look at some of these places around the coast, like here in Twillingate, with your salt box houses, and then it's uh, certainly indicative of a lifestyle that, uh, that we had for centuries. Hi, folks. Welcome to another show. Where I'm standing now is at Long Point Lighthouse, just outside the beautiful community of Twillingate. Now, I'm actually staying in Twillingate, and for the next few days, I'm going to be doing some tur hunting with my good buddy, Richard Gillette, owner of North Atlantic Outfitting. This place, this area, has been known as the home of the turs. I mean, they literally have tens and tens of thousands of turs. And Richard said to me there a couple of days ago when he invited me, he said, Dwight, he said, you won't be able to load fast enough. So with me on this trip is my good buddy Bob Witten and my brother-in-law, Will Flundergan. And all of us really enjoy this tur hunting business. Now, for you folks that are not familiar with a tur, the scientific name is actually a mur. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians are the only people allowed to shoot these birds because it was ingrained in our constitution when we joined confederation in 1949. So sit back and relax and I hope you guys enjoy today's tur hunt right here just outside of Twillingate on the northeast coast of Newfoundland. But you can certainly see why tourists come down to Twillingate and experience what we're looking at right now, can't you? 
Another thing about this too, the, the, this is where the icebergs come through first, right? Lots of them. Yeah. And Lots the, of them. You know, people who've never seen iceberg before, it's got to be very scenic for them. Icebergs know? and whales. So Richard, uh, how long have you had this outfitting business for Terrors? Well, this is the second year, huh? What's the best type of wind that you find here? Well, the best type of wind here now is the northerly, uh, northerly wind uh, like here on the land. And we're out of the sheep and the tunnel get on it, and the birds just fly in the other side of the bay and just come to the wind on our side. Right? So you really don't have to go out in the Atlantic Ocean very far to no. get your terrors here? No, they just fly right along by the land. So what are we going to do to get up early tomorrow morning? We're going to get up early tomorrow morning and uh, get out and hopefully there'll be a few birds flying and be foggy weather again so they'll fly close to shore. And, uh, These fellas now, they've gone out in the mornings and been back by 8.30 with, in some cases, if you had four men in the boat, you had your 80 birds. Yeah. So you had your quota. Yeah. That's phenomenal. Yeah, quarter to eight like that, you have your 40 birds. And well, you better have a straight eye tomorrow morning. You better, you better take it easy tonight. How many bullets have we got? Two cases. Well, that's good for one day. Yeah. So your business has grown pretty good. Hey, you're. It doubled. It doubled this year. Is that right? Last year, yeah, it doubled this year. People that I had last year and that for the late oil runs and everything, they're all booked in for. Uh, one and two hunts and two hunts. So you've got a website that people can go to get yeah. more information I've on got this. A website is... and also on uh, Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. What is your website? Just tell the folks at home what your website is so they can go and have a look for themselves. What we're going to be doing tomorrow. Well, it's NorthAtlanticOutfitters.com. There you go. Nice and easy to yeah. to remember. Yeah. Now we're looking forward to tomorrow. I can't wait actually. Might be one of those nights we'll be awake all night. Anytime, yeah. anytime I go at a new experience of any type of a hunt, I'm usually awake all night long. So you won't have to worry about calling me in the morning. You've done this before. <laughs> Watch out, church boy. Well, you're not going to try and get your sea legs. Uh, <laughs> I figured that's the first thing I had to do, get my sea legs. <laughs> yeah, we see right there every morning. The beauty about hunting here on Tullingate is that you're on an island, basically, even though it's linked by a causeway. And you can pick either side of the island because the birds are always flying. That's in the lunch. So we're going on this side because the wind is blowing that way. When you get outside of here now, the better again. So you can start seeing terrors anytime, isn't it? Are you see legs now? <laughs> yeah. We're on one of the most formidable coasts in Canada. We're here in the North Atlantic, just uh, up north of uh, Twillingate. And consequently, up here you've got Labrador Turns coming down and a few others. <laughs> and it's a wild place. You've got a lot of islands in this area. Lots of submerged, big rocks what we call breakers, and that's not a spot that you want to get to. They start breaking, so. It's a great challenge. And where we haven't been tur hunting now for over a year, trying to get your sea legs for something like this, that's a challenge too. I must see a few birds.
our first turs here in this area ever. I've never hunted here before. And uh, what the boys do here, unlike what we've been accustomed to, they basically go out where the turs are flying and just point the boat in the direction that the turs are flying and wait. Whereas ordinarily we always draw around, pick them off in the water. But when you get them on the wing like this, it's a whole different sport, much better. There you go. Dandy, our, our first 20, well, more? There my boy, yeah. Our first bird from 28. Nice little mature, nice little myrrh. Woohoo! Oh, one out of it. Yep. Uh, that's a big one. That's a biggie. Oh, more gravy. What can I say? We're just starting. Oh, there's going to be a slaughter now. Any more to Yeah. All the way to over. Yes, sir. Picked off a few. Oh, jeez. He's not that far, did it? That was a dandy shot, buddy. Did I hear you say too far? Yeah. Well, he just keeps them for himself. That's what he... Now that one's too far. Yeah. That one's way too far. That was a dandy shot, Terry. He says, too far, too far. And then he picks one out. You're just, you're just taking pity on us small fellas. <laughs> Boy, you did it. Number three. We have uh, 77 more to go. Ooh. Big, big, big. Lots of birds flying this morning. Oh, that's better. Ooh. Well, I thought we were cockling for a second. They got two. Okay. Yeah, one out of it. Went on the inside, did they? Whoa, two anyway. You have a long shot again. Uh, barrel's getting hot now. That was a long shot again. We got two out of the four. Mm. We're starting to add up now. That's good. That other one's smooth. He's around here somewhere. He's expired, yeah. That happens a lot when you shoot a bird, it'll dive, and then it'll float up dead. Well, you saw another one? Yeah, sure did. Oh, boy, oh, you son of a gun. Right on the stem. Is that right? I didn't see that one. No, I think we're looking for the other one. See? One more for the collection. That was a headshot, huh? 
Aim for the head in that one. Now we got 14 now, man. And we missed probably 24 or more. Yeah, suit of armor on. I had a crack. You had a couple cracks. You had a crack. Jeez. Had a suit of armor on him. I'm going to make some good uh, livers and hearts this evening, is it? I guess that's the tradition for you guys, too. You can't beat that meal. Livers, hearts, and onions. Onions, yeah. Great, fresh. Yeah. Fresh, homemade, great. Oh my God. <laughs> That's out. Now we had a few more like that. That'll be all right. That's our total. Pretty good. Oh, gee, the waves going up and down, the boat going up and down, the turret going up and down. And the birds coming at you at 30 miles. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you got to get used to it. See, we haven't done this since last. December, I suppose. We don't do it that often, probably once a year, twice a year. Something I'd like to be doing more of. Though. Now we're seeing a fair number of birds flying by, but nothing's flying by within range in the last half an hour or so. So we're just going to take our time and mosey around a little bit. And by that time, winds might change and you might get some more birds flying. Come right in. Nice shot. Whoa. -ho. That's, the way it, that's the way you want to do it over. Nice shot. One shot and down he comes. Dead eye dick again. <laughs> more than just a pretty face. Oh, what can we say? Nice shot. That one then. Uh, yeah. Gradually adding up. Nice shot there, Will. You, you feel that one stoned in. That was a lovely shot. Nice, yeah, sir. Yeah, you go way in. Perfect, perfect oh, shot. Nice little nice birds, huh? You know, a fair bit of meat in those. And they, uh, yeah. anybody that likes the fishy taste on a and a bird because these do taste a bit fishy. Actually, they taste a lot like seal. They're delicious birds when cooked properly. We normally skin these, but the boys, they pluck them all. So when you pluck the birds, you can make that skin nice and crispy and makes excellent gravy. Good job, Buffer. See, nice and white, huh? that one stone dead. What? Yeah. Perfect. That he did. He didn't want to waste any shells. <laughs> After going through a couple of boxes. <laughs> sure. uh, there's a chair there, long and funny wheel clock. There he is. Oh, gee. Oh. oh. One o'clock, one o'clock. <laughs> huh? That's a big bird. There you go. One more. So he started battering away at it. Position that one was in, they really shine when the sun shine on them. You can pick them out a mile away. Yes, yeah. sir. Huh? Yeah. The, the, the belly really stood out. Oh, we're getting there. That's good. There was a puffin amongst that one as well. A young puffin. Those birds, now, you're not allowed to shoot. A lot of people call them saltwater parrots because they've got that nice colorful beak. Oh. A few shots going off there. But that's a protected species, so some, sometimes it's hard to distinguish 
when they're on the wing, whether it's a, a puffin or a tear until they're pretty close to you, and then you can see the little short round beak. I don't want to be Terry. I'm not wearing that tomorrow. No. no. Oh. You were right. Orange is only yeah. for moose hunting. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were right. Uh, yeah. and you could see that it was going towards the boys yeah. most of the time. Exactly. The birds, yeah, the yeah. birds, they can see you. But at, in the beginning, I wouldn't believe you anyway. Right? No. <laughs> no. Yes, sir, like older I got, birds, I got to believe the seeing was believing. Yeah, older birds, though. That's the reason they got older because they're not, tired, right? Exactly. Like everything, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they, we had we had a lot veer off coming towards the boat, and they veered off, and obviously it's because of yes. the colors that we got on. Yeah, yeah we got changed. But uh, I had to put something else on tomorrow. Uh -oh. Now the quota is for tur hunting, by the way. You're allowed 20 birds per person per day for a possession limit of uh, 40, two days. 40 per season. Now we haven't got that this day. Maybe tomorrow morning. Look, three or four. This flew down there. Another one. See, there are very few that we got in the water, though. She got nailed that one, buddy. Woohoo! <laughs> Didn't even have a chance of better away. Gee. Man, oh man, look. Must have nailed him right in the head. Oh, the boy's banging into him. You got him now. Touch that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, you blew it in. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Is that what they call the northern bird or what? Yeah. Woo you got a few out of it. Three and four. <laughs> Not too bad, eh? <laughs> now, that's the kind of shoot that you like to see. Yeah. You know, when they're coming in right to the boat like that, it's absolutely perfect. That's good. Three out of four, heck. That one's gone. Oh, I can't see. I don't know. More gravy, Dwight. More gravy, Bobby. <laughs> see, we'll be eating some tourists. We got three out of four, so that's not bad. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, 
Got one. Exactly. That's the way you want them. They're coming towards you like that. I gotta change this jacket tomorrow too. I gotta, I gotta bump my coat off somebody. Yeah. The other one. Uh, two more. I was hoping that they cross and like a two in one shot, but that didn't work. That didn't work out. You're too slow, man. <laughs> A couple of murders. <laughs> That's good. Good job. I won't look anymore. That's it. <laughs> I'm putting already shaking gun. Well, it was a good day, Terry. We, we started a bit slow, but it worked out perfect. We got uh, 38 or 39 turns right behind me, and we're going to go in now and we're going to pluck those. It might take us all night. And uh, we're going to have a feed of livers and hearts. So it was a great day, weather cooperated and everything. And our buddies in the other boat, they also have 40. We've got a lot of plucking to do. You're going to pluck every one of them? Every one. Every one. Now this time of year, a lot of these turds are what they call moody. They're younger birds, and once you pick the feathers off, they get these little black pin feathers. The boys melt wax, put it on the bird, and that takes every pin feather off. So that's great. Now I finally got my sea legs. Perfect. For tomorrow morning. Exactly. We're going to do a repeat of this tomorrow morning, and they promised me it's going to be even better because the wind is now northerly, which is very conducive to turds flying in close to land, right? Watch out tomorrow. We'll have to bring an extra case of shells, Bill. <laughs> I, I, I got some practice here today. So oh, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. We got lots of practice today, is right. A lot of dead waves. Yeah, for sure. What are you doing on our rich today? I'm just waxing the bird, taking the, the moose out of it. A lot easier than tweezers. Well, we're going up for there, are we, Terry? She's getting later all the time now. Yeah. Huh? There's two, is it? Oh. 
Where to go? <laughs> My first Notre Dame Bay no, 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 turn. No, 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 no. We'll get in a couple, huh? Do you fire that, Bobby? Do you shoot that one? Oh. The first one in the morning. First one for Notre Dame Bay. I think it's the biggest one we shot so far, too, Will. <laughs> uh, what do you think? <laughs> you know, That's one. First one. What are we wanting? Why is this good? We're coming in here on the right. What do you think, Wolf? I think what we should do, I'll knock them out of the air, you finish them and dip them. Okay. okay. Is that a plan? <laughs> what do you think I'll do that? What? Good, sir. Touched him, yeah. Oh, they came in good too. No, it's as good as you want there. Also oh, went behind him, did we? Boys, got a flock up there, five up there to the left. Look, come right at us, boys, come right at us. Yeah, that's better. That's good. They came in nice. Going too cock high that time. Yeah, so I got a couple more out of it though. Yeah, they came in real nice, eh? You get a few more coming in like that. That's what we want. They're coming good. Try, try, try and move. No, I didn't even better shoot him. Long shot, hey? Yeah. That's a long shot there. Yeah, that was a real long shot, but hey, sometimes you never know. Oh, you never know it does one. That's right, that's right. I'm not trying to get you know, I'm just going to well, Why not? I'm going after a few shots. The prettiest face you've seen this morning. There you go. That's what we're looking for. We get a shot like that, she'd come. Oh, would you come with H, eh? Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be fantastic. It's pretty up there on the right, is it? Yeah. Too far. You got one, yeah. That's another one, boys. Another one for the count. Are you sure there's a blanks again you're using? Did you, you fill up them uh, with blanks? <laughs> you, he, just because he got the guns. No, no, good. you go to bed early, you pay the price. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> I've done a job on him, I think. How many shells does it take to there? <laughs> how, many, how many shooters does it take? <laughs> Go ahead, Will. No, we got passes. Come on, Barry. Oh, 
That's what hit him. Oh, well. A bit higher. Hey, cut him that time. Dove, don't. Boys, oh boys. Dove again. Yeah. I'm going to give him a chance, Dwight. So that's it, the boys. If you, I'm going to have to start shooting. One turf or back, is it? One turf, turf or back. Ah, a nice shot. Lovely shot there, Wolf. Please, <laughs> fall shell. <laughs> now you got him. <laughs> okay, buddy. This sir is a fine shot. I wait in the head, head shot. Yeah, I wouldn't fire that. No, no. I take the blood now with yeah. the head. We <laughs> chased <laughs> Good shot, buddy. Hey, there you go. That was better. Yeah, a little better. Nice when they're across the water right it. Yep, that was a nice shot. You gotta, Finally. You got to love those shots. Uh, Finally. <laughs> yeah, one out of a hundred. One out of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> we got lots of shells anyway. We're having fun. Yeah. But what a day on the water, eh? Now. now he's dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> Too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. The other one got it too. Oh, there it is. Bob, I'm up dead. Look. Yeah. Way to go. What's going on? What's happening? We're into a new box of shells, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Last ones were just practice shells. <laughs> He's got real shot in them. <laughs> the left. There you go. Oh, yeah. 
that board. That's a big whale. Oh, what what uh, species is that? Humpback the bigger? It's a big whale, like a humpback, is it? Look. Oh, oh gee, that's not too close. Not too close on that. Oh, oh boy. Holy Jesus. Boys, oh boys, that's a beautiful sight. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. Beautiful animal, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh. Boy, oh boy, that's something. That's a, but it's unreal. That's what I saw earlier today. Lord, do he stay on top of water too? Yeah, he's not going to tail for us though, is he? I'd love for the tail to come out of the water, be nice. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, boy. I think you're looking for a feed now. <laughs> got him. I'm going to say, for the love of God. Finally. Good shot, buddy. Good shot, buddy. There's a few birds up there. Some suits of armor. Boy. Oh. Ah, this is shot, shot. Oh, uh -huh. shot, buddy. That's only six more shots. See today. I found it's a really easy sport, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's a tree box. See today, that one. That was a good one, yeah. We like that one. Well, it's the official dipper upper. I like that one, buddy. Look for yours, well, up over there. Let's straight ahead. Boys, good shot over a minute. What was your occupation, Bob, before your current job? <laughs> uh, what was it? Can't say. <laughs> there he is, left, left. Sick now. Oh boy. He's belly up. Oh boy. He's got a battle with her. That was a nice shot, Wilford. Two of us like fire at the same time. I think most of my shells went in down except yours. Well, I what? Did, see? What are you shooting for? Oh, oh, the legs. The legs are far gone. Huh? Nice browning Maxis, eh? Hey? Browning Maxis, but some nice gun to handle, eh? Hey? Beautiful gun. Nice and light, isn't it, but? Really beautiful gun, yeah. Nice and light. Yeah, it's a lot lighter and easier to handle than a lot of the other guns. Takes uh, two and three quarters, three and three and a half. Great goose gun as well. Eh? Yeah. I was wondering about some of the turrets, but maybe it's the maybe That's it's the shooter. shooter. Is not the gun maybe, for sure. I think it might be the shooter. I thought of some of those we missed. Or maybe it was the pilot here. You know. No, they're shaking blanks. Right out of breath. Oh my God. Oh, we, we slowed him down. Oh my God, tonight. We slowed him down. <laughs> well, 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 he's still there. Still there? Yeah. Well, it's good timing there, Will. Same time again, buddy. How good are we getting to now? Well, if I had to shake your head on that one, boy. <laughs> what a tea, what a tea. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, boy, it's a lot. Now you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. Six, six shot Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six shooters, you can't beat those six shooters. <laughs> Well, folks, as you can see, we've had an absolutely gorgeous day here just in the ocean off Twilling Gate, off 
o'clock at Terrace flying by. Now we've been here for two days. We got um, 40 the first day. We've got more than 40 today, and our counterparts in the other boat, they probably got more than we did. So all in total, in two boats, we've got almost 200 tours. You know, we had a great trip. As with most places that I go, I always meet new friends, and I want to thank sincerely my buddy Terry Dove, Justin Parody, and of course Richard Gillette, owner of North Atlantic Outfitting. If you want to enjoy a great hunt and you don't mind the salt water, give Richard a call. You can check out his website at northlanticoutfitting.com. Thanks for watching the show. Catch me again next week, and I'll bring you some more exciting adventure right here in Newfoundland and Labrador Outdoors. Well, thanks, Richard. Boy, it was a great, great trip. Really, really enjoyed it. Hey, Justin. 170 birds in two days. Yes, sir, boy. We did well. Nice meeting you, my friend. It's a pleasure, 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 pleasure. We had a ball. Shake Dan on the man and shook the world. Shake Dan on the man and shook the world. That's not bad for a morning's hunt, is it? I hope the folks at home, if they want to come out and enjoy a great trip, not only do you have carrots, you also have a lot of ducks yeah, later on, don't you? So that will be as good, if not better. The hospitality is not bad either. No. <laughs> the Philanders, boy, I tell you, you can't, you can't beat them. Great stuff. We had a good hunt. The weather, the weather for flying now wasn't oh, the best, but the weather, we did have a good hunt. Today was unreal, you know, in terms of being nice. Now, it might be the kind of weather you guys want for shooting yeah. turns, but we didn't do too bad, did we? No. I like to have the ones we missed. Yeah. All of them always get Woodlands and the rivers are calling out to me It's the country that I live for, the place I long to be Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score We're the sportsmen of Newfoundland and Labrador Hi folks, glad you could join me. Today is our last show of season nine and I've got to say the last nine years have gone by so fast it's absolutely incredible now you regular viewers out there who have been watching the show know that I'm extremely passionate about two subjects one Atlantic salmon fishing definitely definitely my favorite sport in the world the second one of course being moose hunting now based on a lot of emails and comments that we've had from you guys I decided to go back through our archives for the last nine years select clips that were mostly suggested by viewers and show you guys a little bit of everything that we've accomplished for the past nine years. So sit back and relax and I hope you enjoyed today's sort of a recap show right here on the Newfoundland Sportsman Show. The first clips I'm going to show you is from a moose hunt I participated in back in 2007 up at Salmon Airline, Area 33. Now I had a neither sex license, but I wanted a bit of bragging rights, so I was going to hold out for a bull, something that had a half decent rack on it. Now for the first couple of days, we saw a tremendous amount of moose when we got as close to them. You know, we were literally within 20 to 30 feet of some of those moose. They were almost like tame pets. But I held out, and on the third day, I said, shag it, now whatever comes out this morning, I'm going to take. So have a look and see what happened. What a gift if we were to that. I could have it no problem at all, eh? There's a, there's a young bull, about two years old. He's got two little knobs on his head. All over the place, man. Negative. The wind is in our favor here now, yeah. too. I'd say we wait here long enough. We're going to see uh, those three that we saw earlier come through. If I don't get my nice bull that I'm looking for, if I'm, if I'm forced to shoot a cow later on, that is not as good a shot as that one, and not as clear as that one. 
No Logan. Nice animal. Great eating. Looks like we're in a zoo here. <laughs> Boy, that's a big animal, you know. And look at that. She's not as dark as the last one we saw. There's three. There's three. Look, you can see the best of my hand, too. Oh, wicked! Dead shot. Dead shot. Oh. Good oh. shot, John. My brother-in-law, Will Flundrigan, he's been my moose hunting partner for almost 35 years. In recent years, Gord has joined our group, and we normally try to pick out areas all throughout the province to do some moose hunting in. Now, I've got a sister that lives in Glovertown. So does Wilf. So this year, we decided to go out to Black River, which is an area that we know quite well between Glovertown and Gamble, to do some moose hunting. On the last day of the third trip, we were going in this woods.